Since the day Taryn was born, I felt a huge responsibility to not blow it as a mother because I, I um, held her so precious right from the beginning and I just wanted to do right by her. The most important thing was that I wanted to make sure that I raised her to be a Christian. And thankfully she is. Um, the second thing I thought about was that it seems like life has a way of beating us down and especially we women have such a high ideal that is out there in our society and I wanted to make sure that she entered adulthood with lots of um, self-esteem and self-respect and a lot of oomph. I wanted her to have a lot of spirit. And the third thing I prayed about, since she was old enough to care, for sure, was that she would find the right person for her. since the day you were born we've been praying for your wife that God would protect her until you met that he would direct her to be a woman with a, a heart just for God and we're just so excited to see you today to unite with the answer to that prayer we are so proud of you of the decisions that you've made and just look forward to just how God's going to open up new adventures for you in the future. You know, life is rough and I just want to say that I'm sorry for the times that were difficult, the times that you were sad, and the times that you were hurt. But I also want to say that we love you so very, very much. And we're just so very, very excited for you. told him that I only ever wanted to say I love you to one man ever and so when I said it to him that I pretty much knew that he would be the only man I, I'd ever say it to and so the qualities that drew me to Josh more than anyone ever <laughs> was um, his intense commitment to the Lord and he leads in Christ he lives his life wholly devoted to Christ trying to glorify him Every day, in every moment, he strives to um, live life in the way that, that would bring glory to God, God and would be Christ-centered Christ in every way. Um, and there's not a lot of people out there like that, and I'm incredibly blessed to have snagged one. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, that was the number one thing about Josh that, that completely drew me in. When I first was starting to realize that Taryn was a, a very special and unique girl, uh, she showed up for one of my uh, indoor soccer games for intramurals once, and 
I hadn't really invited her or anything. I had let her know that it was going on, and uh, she showed up anyway. And at that point, I started to realize that Taryn was somebody who was very, very loyal, somebody who would be there for her friends and for those who she loves, uh, regardless of anything else that might stand in her way. And she is one of the most loyal people I've ever met. So uh, th that was definitely uh, a contributing factor to helping me realize just how unique she is. Um, but there was also the first time that I got to meet Ron and Ann of Minnesota. Um, I got to see Taryn interacting with her family, and um, that brings out a whole different side of, of Taryn. Having her loved ones around her, their, her, her comfort system, her stability, is uh, it. It shows just how how much love and compassion she has for people, and brings out the best of her. So that uh, that was definitely a time that really showed me that, that she is uh, she's a girl that should be uh, should be spending time with. <laughs> I'm very excited to have family and friends and I mean it's you know one of those moments that you'll never have again to have all of the people that you love in one place and so that's that's the most exciting part for me I mean me and Josh were ready so <laughs> that's exciting too Don't get stressed out by everything that you see and just let it roll and have fun and remember that I love you and it's going to be fabulous and this isn't about any of the big celebration or any of the people here or any of the family or anything like that. It's about you know me and you devoting our lives to each other and to Christ and that's all that matters. Mom, you are my best friend and just, I couldn't imagine spending this day with anyone else or having anyone else help me into my wedding dress and having anyone else be the most involved in this moment. You said when we were, when I was a freshman in high school, you said that you wished one day that me and you could have a relationship like the Gilmore girls have. I'm here to tell you, what we have is so much better and so much more fun and full of so much more love and I just I love you so much and I'm, I'm so grateful for everything that you've done um, not just for for the wedding and for wedding week but in life thank you Dad. daddy you are my favorite person yesterday my favorite person today and my favorite person tomorrow that will never change and I love you We were planning on doing our own vows, but time kind of got away from us and we didn't really have a chance to, to prepare us fully for that as we would have wanted, so maybe someday we'll be able to have our own vows, but um, for the time being, we're, we're going to go with some traditional vows, but as I was thinking about what I was going to say in my vows, um, I just wanted to tell Taryn that I, I promised to be there for her, to love her in a in a self-sacrificing way to put her before me to put her needs before my own to serve her in any way that I can and uh, I promise to to be your stability and your foundation and to most importantly be the one to push you on towards towards Christ and towards what God's will is for your life and what God's will is for us as as we become one, and um, I promise to to lead our family towards God and to seek to to serve Him in every way that we can and to build His kingdom first. Message to my dad on my wedding day. I uh, I just want to thank him for all of the work that he's put into preparing for the ceremony. It's been it's been fun to to watch him just really enjoy this and to take ownership of it and to. <laughs> to see him 
just really excel in, in preparing for this and he's just had such a great time and I'm excited to, to experience this ceremony and to, to be a part of it. To my mom, a message to my mom on my wedding day. Um, well first I just thank you for all the work that you've done to make this wedding even possible. Um, from invitations to menus to um, place cards and settings and just being willing to step in wherever whatever needs to be done giving of yourself and sacrificing of yourself it is a, a very good example for Oh yeah, Josh, you can kiss your bride. <laughs>